Hi guys, this is AC Game. back with a new video. Now, I know it's been a while since I made a Hero Kantaro video, but in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Christmas update. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new hero, which is Satan. Um, I'm not going to say the number because, yeah, obviously, devil number. No thanks. Um, anyway, now, they, the, the way that they, they named the Christmas update as Satan Claus and Christmas Party 2 update. Sorry, the heck are you talking about Satan Claus? That is just trippy as hell. How can you mix christmas and satan together i'm sorry that just feels weird to me especially when i'm a christian but anyways that is just weird to me anyways we're going to be taking a look at the brand new character over here i will be summoning hopefully i do have enough to summon for him yeah so let's get right into the video guys don't forget to like the video subscribe uh let's get to 2k subscribers stay tuned for more hero contari video don't forget to hit the post notification on so you get notified when i make a new content uh yeah let's get right into it so before I take a look at his skills and stats, I just like to say that there's something wrong with his art. Um, I think the art is boring. Um, I don't know if they changed the designer or someone who makes the art, but something just looks different with it. It just looks plain and boring. So maybe had they had the change in designer to save money or something, but I don't like the way the art looks. It's just the same as the Yama. Yeah, how Yama was. It looked boring and terrible. Sorry if you can hear some rain, it was raining currently right now in the UK. So yeah, let's take a look at his skills. Now this is his first chain. His first chain is attacks the opponent with the highest maximum HP with 120% attack. If the opponent is a boss, Monstar deals fixed damage with 40% attack that ignores defense and damage deflection. Now I can tell from all his skills, he is a boss dealer. So it, it, his main priority is to deal damage to a boss, so advent boss. He's a dark type, so maybe he'd be good for beating um is it Kavara? One of those boss. Um what's it called? Let's take a look at his stats. Sorry, I didn't take a look at that. Um life is alright, armor is alright, speed is pretty good, and his power is also good, I guess. So it seems to be very good in terms of stats, so not bad. His first chain is just based on dealing boss damage so i don't know how i feel about him because he's just not going to be useful in like story or stuff like that but he seems to be good so far uh based on the animations animation looks all right um yeah it looks all right i guess now second chain now if you read the web chain, you know why he's like this so i, I really loved saying when he was introduced in the web tune especially the fight with him and uh Mori Jin, that was amazing. Okay, second chain. Attack the opponent with the highest maximum HP with 170% attack. If the opponent is a boss man star, removes all applied boss to the buffs on the opponent. Make it a buff unavailable for one turn and deals fixed damage with 70% attack that ignores defense and damage flexion. So, like I said, it's gonna be good for uh, guild boss, um, especially with the if you're going to do guild war so dealing damage to queen no name he'll be good for that as well so i do seem very very good but not for like story and stuff so that is the second chain very nice now his third chain i love his third chain animation look at this look at this this is amazing oh sorry uh i just can't wait for him to come come in the game uh obviously cool animation over here that was third chain attack all opponent with 130 percent attack if the opponent is a is in madness i don't know what that is deals fixed damage with 120 percent attack to the opponent with the highest maximum hp so pure damage i guess now let's take a look at his passive because his passive is very very unique so passive one 20 percent attack boost which is pretty high if the hero attacked a boss monster by two chains or three chain skills the hero turns into madness oh okay for one turn madness 30 percent attack and 30 percent crit hit boost rate boost crit hit rate boost okay so he's actually very very good in terms of damage so i can see him being broken for all those boss dealing damage stuff uh second passive when hp falls below 50 percent the hero turns into limited removal or same as more gene that boosts 50 percent attack 30 percent crit hit rate and 50 percent speed also, the hero applies damage immunity for one turn and generates a shield with 20% of HP for three turns. After three turns, limited removal is cleared and the hero's HP falls to 10% activated once. Now, I do see him being okay. Personally, I wouldn't say it's a must summon, but if you're more based on if you're increasing your damage for Guild Labyrinth, then you definitely want to pull for this character. He seems very, very good. 
um I, I will take a look at the rest of the christmas update in a later video so definitely stay tuned for that but i really hate the way they named it satania well, i don't really know how to say the name gift event sorry stop just stop anyway it's been a boy ac gamer don't forget to like the video subscribe let's get to 2k subscribers and i hope you enjoy this video and i'm out